Hello, hello. It has been a while since I have put out a new tutorial, but we are back. Um, today we're going to be able, or we're going to be going over um, how to create a recent posts blog section um, on a page that is not your blog page. So for example, today I'm going to be putting um, a recent posts section on my homepage. Um, and we will be going over everything that goes along with that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, first of all, make sure that you have a blog subscription um, with Show It. If you have just the, um, the no blog, um, and if you're not blogging, you'll have to upgrade your subscription. Um, but if you are already set up with your blog and good to go, the first thing you're going to want to do is copy your homepage by clicking on these little dots and click copy to WordPress because th this page is now going to become a WordPress template because we are going to be pulling um, info from WordPress. So after you do that, you can go ahead and delete your home page that is on the static word or the static show up pages. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename this home. Okay. Now we're ready to build the actual section. So I'm just going to add a blank canvas and put it where I would like. So I have it right here. Let's rename this recent posts. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and design it. So I'm gonna, just for the sake of a quicker tutorial, um, grab what I have in my blog page already, just so um, we're not spending all the time in this tutorial doing design. I'm going to paste that right in here, and I'm going to make this section have three blog posts. So I'm going to copy and paste this, copy and paste that. So we have three now, and I'm just going to organize them how I would like. And they're kind of big, so I'm going to go ahead and just shrink these down a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to kind of move these around, make sure that they are aligned evenly. Okay, that is looking good. Okay, so once you have your recent post section looking the way that you want, um, you're going to want to make sure that everything in the canvas is set up. So we have... Um, this section over here for Canvas, and then you have a WordPress um, drop-down menu, and we're going to change that to Post View Lookup. Now, this is where you can um, either choose to pull by category, by name. I'm not going to select anything. I'm just going to select the number of posts I want to show, and then make sure that it's the descending direction and order by date, and that means it's going to show the most recent posts here. So um, after we select that for the canvas view, I'm just going to go through and make sure that the images are set as WordPress featured images. The blog titles are set in text properties. And of course, our read more button is going to be a click action to WordPress post. And all of these um, are set up that way already. Um, I'm going to click over to mobile just to make sure that everything looks good. And we need to do a little bit of work here. So I'm just going to rearrange these so that they are in the right layout that I want. So basically, we're just creating the template of how we want this section to look. And then once we connect it to WordPress, WordPress will filter through and show these. Okay, so now I have everything looking the way that I want on both um, desktop and mobile. We have our canvas set up here, so that looks good. The next thing we're gonna do is create one canvas view for each blog post over here within the canvas. So I'm gonna create three. And what this is doing is telling WordPress that these are all different WordPress posts. These are different blog posts and not just the same blog posts being shown three times. Okay. So it'll look kind of funny when you view it, but 
if you click through view two and view three, um, those are all there. Okay, that is all we're going to do and show it for right now. Now we're gonna hop over to our WordPress backend. some slow internet today. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, now the first thing that we're gonna do is go into pages. And you should know that most of our pages live within show it, not WordPress, because these just have static content on them. They don't have blog content. But since we changed this to a blog content, we're going to make sure that we have a page in WordPress um, that is named the same thing. So I'm going to pretend like this doesn't exist here, and we're going to recreate it. So hypothetically, I wouldn't have a home page here yet. So I'm going to add a new page, call it home and hit publish. I'm not gonna add anything else in it. Now I'm gonna go back to show it and I'm gonna go to the page here and you see this template info tab. So instead of selecting this as post list or single post or category, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and click custom. This is a custom WordPress template. And now since we chose home as the name and you can see that that's in the permalink as well, we're gonna type in page-home. I'm gonna hit publish. Now this is gonna connect the page that we built in Show It to WordPress. So now I'm just gonna refresh this and then we're gonna click on this permalink here. And you can see now when I scroll down here, there is our new blog section with the blog posts that I have in my WordPress account. And those are the latest three blog posts, which is pretty cool. Um, if we go back to the WordPress, WordPress dashboard, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is make sure that um, this is set as the home page in WordPress since we moved it away from up here. So that is another setting in WordPress. We're going to go to settings and show it. And then we're just going to click on this setting here, load the WordPress homepage instead of show it homepage. Click save here. The next thing that we're going to do is go to the reading settings. You're gonna click a static page, and then you're gonna select your home page as that home page that we just created. You've got your blog page as your blog post page, and then we're just gonna hit save. Now, when I go to just katieharringtondesign.com, that home page is now going to load as our front page with the blog content here. And that is it. That is how you create a page in Show It with blog content um, with, a, with a section. You could have recent posts, you could have, you know, most popular posts and then separate it by a category called popular or something like that. You really have a lot of options um, of adding blog content to pages that are other than your blog page. Um, so leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'm happy to help out, and that is how recent post sections are made.